Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com. This is a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is uh, Fast Ring build 18890. Uh, just five build numbers up from the build released last week. After a couple of weeks without having any builds actually. And I really struggled to get this going on my Surface Pro 3. I think I've kind of reached the end of the road on my Surface Pro 3. But here we are on my Surface Go and the build has installed fine. Uh, on the Surface Pro 3 I was getting an error and then it got stuck with the Surface logo. So I think um, that might have had its day that one. But anyway, let's have a look at this build. And um, I'm afraid to say really there's not many changes to this build. Well, I say not many. There aren't any new features at all. There are uh, just a handful of fixes and some known issues. I don't know um, what the projected path is, whether we're going to get new features in this 20H1 builds um, early on or we're going to see them added later on because of course 19H2 is going to be the uh, release that's out later this year, uh, probably October time, and that should have new features as well. This 20H1 build isn't due to um, almost this time next year, the first half of 2020. And the Microsoft say they're testing this, releasing this early because some of the core changes. And I think they're under the hood changes that are being tested here. But anyway, here is the build and um, let's have a look at the changes. So the first thing they did is fix the hang in the audio services when your um, machine was checking for spatial audio. So spatial audio is the sort of a 3D sound effect. And... Um, I haven't got spatial audio, I think, on here. Let's have a look. This is the Surface Go. Um, there you go. Spatial set is off, and I can actually turn it on. And it it was hanging when it was checking for licenses, so I'm going to leave that off at the moment while we're recording. They also fixed an issue where the desktop was uh, unexpectedly slow to refresh if you right-clicked um, on the desktop. So if you did refresh from here, uh, they fixed that issue. They fixed an issue with accessing network shares if you're in safe mode with networking. They fixed an issue with the hardware keyboard predictions wouldn't appear in the um, ESUN, uh, ESUS keyboard. And they fixed an issue with cumulative updates that were failing with an error uh, 0x800F0982. And that was if a language pack was happening at the same time. So it's trying to install a language pack at the same time and um, that would fail so language packs you can install these additional uh, language options and if it was trying to install that and a cumulative update at the same time then that would fail and um, interestingly the, the extra note on there is thanks to the feedback provided by friendly dates in file explorer we decided not to roll out friendly dates to use as part of 19h1 Insiders will see an option go away today regardless of the build number. So this was an option where you could show friendly dates in File Explorer. I did see this working and I've got videos of this working um, where it was an option, but uh, that I didn't work when I tried to do my build review, my final review videos of 19H1. So you could have an extra column here, friendly date. Um, looks like they've got rid of that, which fair enough, um, I didn't get to work anyway. So there still are some known issues. You may, if you've been following along with these build videos, you know that the anti-cheat software was preventing 19H1 builds from, or causing them to crash. So Microsoft prevented the installer going ahead if you had that. The, it's been fixed, but if you've still got an old version of the anti-cheat software, then you won't get blocked. Some real text SD card has made it a lot of reading. Um, I think the, you should give up with that one. That's been there for a month, that one. If you use a remote desktop, connect to an enhanced session VM uh, task, search will result in not being visible until you restart the search UI EXE. They're investigating some reports that certain devices that the night light doesn't uh, turn on until after a reboot. Um, there's a notable lag when dragging emoji in di directional panels. Tamper protection may be turned off in Windows security but you can turn it back on. Some features on the start menu and the all apps are not localized. Um, I haven't seen uh, any issues with the with the all apps but um, options on here and scrolling with the mouse wheel or touchpad may stop working in certain places after upgrading you can see i'm scrolling there two fingers scrolling on my uh, surface go touchpad and that's working fine so that's it for this build it is really um you, you know sometimes you get builds with features sometimes you don't and this is one that you don't so uh, you've got to take the rough with the smooth and i'll continue documenting all this build you can go right back to the very first preview of windows 10 if you want to on our youtube channel we've also got other reviews and things like that on there the tech reviews so 
Uh, subscribe if you like the video. Watch out uh, on Friday. I'll be having a new uh, TDL News uh, video update where I'll be reviewing all the Windows Insider News and Windows 10 News wrapped up into one small chunk for you. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at iStixon. Thanks for watching this video.